action. Good morning, yeah. Graham. Uh, welcome to a, another conversation with Graham <laughs> Stevenson and welcome viewers from all around the world. How are you doing this morning, Graham? Yes, good, Nat, good. Just uh, another beautiful winter's day in Australia. No wind, no clouds. Perfect it's, day. Yeah, it is. It's, it's glorious over here in UK as well. Um, right. Well, we have had a, a lovely few weeks. Uh, for me personally, I've been recovering from the massive uh, Mwollomba Art Trail, a 10-day uh, event in Mwollomba, where we've been uh, showcasing over 100 artists from the region over 10 days. And one of those um, days we did that beautiful wet on wet watercolour workshop where we went out on the, on the boat and Graham, um, Graham tutored, I think there were about 25 different uh, students out there. It was a gorgeous day, wasn't it, Graham? Really, really lovely. I mean, the Tweed River is beautiful, it really is. Yes, and Tweed, uh, Tweed Valley Cruises, Mount Warning Tours was a, was a fabulous host. Oh, I hope we do one. Of, I think we should do a lot more of those. Actually, it was just such a lovely, lovely idea. Was but really well, yeah. we're, we've also been very busy preparing for our trip to the United States in July, and our trip to Melbourne, and mm -hmm. me personally, my trip to Europe. So, in from July the seventh, you'll see uh, lots more um, conversations with Graham from me from different parts of Europe for three months, which is a very exciting time in my life. I haven't done anything quite like this. So I'm working remotely um, from Milan and Barcelona and Paris and Berlin will be very exciting. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but before that, we're heading to Melbourne and we've got fabulous, fabulous artists uh, to show you in Melbourne. So I think you head the July the 6th and you're, filming Natalie Ellis to begin with. Is that right, Graham? Yes, yes, we're filming Natalie and we're very grateful that uh, Auspicious, who is a fantastic website, auspicious.com.au, I think it is, um, they've actually come on board to support Natalie in her venture to become part of the Colony Life um, show. And uh, they are a company that specialises in helping artists manage their careers more um, and then showing them avenues uh, that they may not be aware about and then sort of creating a, a great business model around, uh, around uh, you know, a, an artist practice. So they're a fantastic company and they've stepped up to, uh, to make sure that Natalie comes on board, which I think is great. She's actually a, a resin artist and does these really fantastic scenes as though you're actually suspended above these aquamarine oceans and beaches with this gold flex in it so you actually look like you're floating above a beach somewhere on a tropical island so her stuff's really really quite fabulous so i'm very excited about that we haven't done some resin artists before but it's just such cool technique yeah. um and yeah. the fact is that they're all very different it doesn't matter what you do i mean each artist approaches it completely differently and once again so does natalie as well yeah so that's um auspicious arts incubator and John Paul is the CEO of, uh, of that company. And um, we recommend you go on and have a look and see what advice and, and how you, could, you can be supported by them because you can't get enough support in this uh, dog eat dog art world. After yeah. Natalie Ellis, then we're off to David Aldridge. I think he's in Yinna, mm -hmm. Y-I-N-N-A-R. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and what kind of work does he do? He does some um, animals, uh, nature and portraits, but just, just these beautiful representations of, of um, the fauna and flora that we have across Australia, plus, plus nature. Um, you know, literally it might be just a pile of leaves, like autumn leaves that he'll paint, and you'll just see all of these magnificent colours as though he's just stopped, you've just had a moment where you'll stop and you'll look down. But, and then his portraits as well. So he does some really intimate... Um, um, uh, pictures, portraits, and and obviously of the animals as well. So uh, very excited about catching up with uh, with David too. He's um, a fantastic guy. And then I think we're heading down to um, Bridget Dawson, and mm -hmm. um, and yeah. what kind of work has she been doing, Graham? 
I think looking at Bridget's work and then just sort of looking at her history, she's actually working on a kid's book. So she's really, really good at um, illustrative work as well. The, the, the book looks fantastic. But she's probably one of the most versatile artists that we've had on the show. I mean, there's sort of like nothing that she can't do. And she does animals and landscapes. Um, she does nudes and portraiture. And it's a real plethora of, of, different, um, of different approaches to the work. And she sort of seems to have mastered a lot of different techniques as well. You can, you can sort of see all the way through her portfolio that she just doesn't stick to one idea or um, uh, one, uh, one technique by any means. But, uh, yeah, um, once again, excited to see her. And, and she's, a lot of, she's a lot of fun too. I mean, the book that she's creating looks fantastic and you'll obviously see that on the show as well. I think that it's the, going to be released at the end of the year, Pika View, I think it's called. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. It looks really good. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah, very cute. And then you're off to Torquay to mm -hmm. see a couple of artists over there. One, the first one being just uh, Jackie Burke. Jackie Burke is our first one over there. So what techniques can we look forward to seeing from her? Jackie does um, landscapes and portraiture, but some of her landscapes are just, she just lets the colour flow. And they really sort of, it looks like they've actually created themselves a lot of her pieces. I mean, she doesn't try and force the brush into the, the locations to sort of make a tree. She actually uses techniques that literally she'll run the paint and then it'll look like you're looking at a whole forest. It's really quite amazing what she does. And then there's other spackled effects uh, for the background. So I think it's going to be a really interesting show. And I think that she's going to show us a lot of pretty, pretty amazing techniques, Jackie, from what I can see anyway. Cool. Uh, and finally, the artist that we, the final artist we'll be filming is um, Justine Martin. Now, Justine Martin has mm -hmm. been following the show for many years, I see. And uh, do you want to tell us a bit about her? I think um, Justine reminds me of... Um, Cindy Lauper these days, girls just want to have fun. Um, she's, been, she's been through some pretty horrendous situations as far as her health was concerned and she's come out on the other side with a, with a big green tick, which is fantastic because I've been following what she's been doing and really, really had some challenging things come up in her life in the last couple of years and um, nice to know that she's better and she's on the, on the side of having a great life again. But she, she paints a lot of animals but they're really, really whimsical. Um, and it sort of looks like some of the techniques that I use in my work sometimes that she's done the same approach in her work. There'll be African animals or birds or whatever it is, but they're just really dynamic portraits of, say, a giraffe or a lion or a bat. But they're just, they've just got colours through them and they look fantastic. I mean, I think after what Justine's been through, that her artwork is, um, is a real panacea to, um, to bring her to a happier place. And she's, you can see that reflected in her work now. So it's sort of like, I'm here and I'm going to make a statement. That's exactly what she's doing. Art is so good for that. Art is so good for healing and, and uh, making you feel better. Absolutely. So after Torquay, then you drive all the way to Yarra Glen and you're giving a, a presentation to the Yarra Valley Art Society. Um, now that's, that's correct. Fabulous night over there at Memo, it's, it's the name of the hall. Um, yeah. Share a bit about that. I think Carolyn Rogers put it together. I think she's the president of the society there. And I spoke to Carolyn some years back and gave her some advice on her career and what to do and, you know, the things that sort of aren't necessarily obvious to artists when they get into this business because it is a business. You know, it's one thing being passionate and being creative, but if you don't treat it as a business, you, you know, you simply won't make a living out of it. But, um, and then she just said, would I come down and speak to the artist in that area? I've actually filmed a couple of artists down in that area, Claire Bremner and um, Lynette um, Olszlinski, I think it is. Um, and uh, the, the girls came on board. So there's a, you know, there's, they've, they've experienced the fact that Colin and I've actually been in the area, but she has asked me to do a talk uh, down there to their society and they've invited you know people community artists to listen to what I have to say about what color in your life is how it started the benefits of doing it you know what they can look forward to in the future I think in the end the end result is that if you are a part of color in your life you know we've unfortunately had two of our artists pass away since um, 
since they were on. That was um, Sabah and um, David Calra. Sabah Sabah and David Calra. Um, Sabah died at the age of 53 and David was 73. But, you know, now at least we have their legacy now. We have something that people can go to and, and look. And they're both really great guys too. I mean, Sabah was a fantastic guy. So, you know, it's really about leaving that legacy as well. It's, you know, it's a tool to help artists, admittedly, but it's something that's going to be there for perpetuity from hundreds of years to come, if that's the case. So the Yarra Valley Art Society, and I believe that you can go to their website and still book for it. Mm. And I'll put yeah. the date up as well, because I can't remember it right now. But we might yeah. finish this conversation here, because we've got... We're doing lots of filming at the moment, Graham and I. We're filming lots of webinars that um, if you are a premium member, you will get a sneak preview of them all before the rest of the world. So we're talking about mm -hmm. large galleries and marketing and lots of different things. So keep it, check out on our blog and on our YouTube channel. Um, also, you know, you may want to think about becoming a premium member. This year is a great year to become a premium member. You get lots of cool stuff and, and you can promote your work in our gallery and, and I'm busy promoting your work on our Facebook page. So it's, a, it's time to, to get on board and join our Facebook community and our website community. And you can do that by going to our website, www.colouringyourlife.com.au. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for listening and don't forget to put some colour in your life.